Why do variants occur? First of all, the virus grows within our bodies. So if someone is infected, the virus is going to reproduce and replicate, making many, many copies of that virus within the body. When that happens, when the virus doubles and replicates, it has a chance to mutate. This happens for viruses, bacteria, all sorts of organisms that replicate can develop mutations. It's these mutations that causes the different variants. Fortunately for us, with the technology we have in today's science, molecular testing can allow us to see these different viruses so that we can see that the virus from two months ago may not be the dominant circulating virus today. How do we stop them? There are two ways to stop variants. You have to stop the cases. If you stop a large number of cases, then it cannot replicate and it cannot generate variants. There's only two ways to do that. The first one is through infection prevention to make sure that we're all wearing masks that actually cover our nose and our mouth, that are pretty snug fitting to our face, to make sure that we clean our hands when we touch things that other people have touched, and to make sure that we stay six feet or two meters away from other people, even when they are masked. And finally, what we really hope is that it's the vaccine that's gonna stop this pandemic, that will stop the cases, stop the spread, and keep us all safe. What about these COVID-19 variants that are known in the world today? Do the vaccines in fact work? There are lots of variants. There's a UK variant, South Africa variant, there's a Brazil variant, California variant, and even within those variants, there are variants, and there's likely to be more to come. There's lots of information that's out there about whether or not it's going to cause a vaccine to escape or a vaccine to fail. So let's talk about these types of information to see how useful they are. What about if you hear that the vaccine or the variant has mutations in the spike protein? This is very likely to happen. As the virus doubles, it produces mutations all over the place. But just because there are mutations doesn't mean that those mutations matter. What you have to show is that that specific mutation actually causes the vaccine to fail. And that's what we have not yet seen. You may also hear that people have tested the variant against what we call convalescent sera, that is people who have recovered from COVID-19 to see if their blood will actually kill the variant. What we know is that people who have recovered from COVID-19 unfortunately do not have great protection. So this type of information is not very helpful. What is helpful is if you take the blood from vaccinated individuals to see whether or not vaccinated blood actually causes these variants to actually die. These are the types of data that become very important to us in being able to determine how likely it is for vaccine escape to occur. Fortunately, what we find is that the vaccines have been tested against the common UK variant, South African variant, um, and in fact here in California, we can see cases falling with vaccination. Both the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines have been tested in the sense that they have taken blood from vaccinated individuals and found that it will in fact neutralize and kill variant viruses. Here in California, as soon as we gave our two shots of the vaccine, we can see rapid drops in healthcare providers and other prioritized individuals who've received the vaccine. In addition, even if vaccine variants occur, we know that the mRNA vaccines are very likely to be needed to be given every year. This is likely because we, again, as humans, do not build durable immunity that lasts for years. Even with the other coronaviruses before COVID-19, we know that human immunity lasts about one to three years. So it's highly expected that annual vaccines will be needed. And in fact, because mRNA vaccines are just the instruction set, they can be quickly modified year on year, just like the flu vaccine, to be able to address variants. And this is already being done by a number of companies just in case they're needed in the few future years to come.